God has picked us to be in his family. Yes. I wasn't looking for God. You wasn't looking for God. He came looking for us. Glory. Yes. And he did this to the praise of the glory of his grace. To the praise of the glory of his grace. That grace in itself could be magnified. Grace itself could be exalted because we realize that it's unmerited favor. He didn't look at a whole group of kids and say, I want that one because that one has blonde hair and I want that one because it has green eyes. He looked at us and said, I want the ones that want my son. I want the ones that are willing not to just talk about my son and believe in my son. See, believing is not enough. Come on, I've taught you this for years. Believing is not enough. It never was and it never will be. Every demon in hell believes in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Belief is the first step to the development of your faith when you speak the things that are not as though they were. When you take the redemptive power of the blood of Christ and you apply it to yourself, and you don't go around saying anymore that you're still this or still that. You're saying, I've been delivered. Amen. You meet Jesus in the fire, and what falls off in the fire? Come on now. That song didn't say it, but there was something in the fire that stayed in the fire. The bonds, the, 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 the ropes, the binding chains of sin, they stayed in the fire. Amen. Well, I'm glad it's Father. Day when our father can look down and say, kids, I love you. Right. I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you elected to be my children. See, you go in the election box and you close the little screen and, you know, or stand there where nobody can see it and you decide who you want to be something, right? We understand that, don't we? We'll apply that to us spiritually. We've, we've, we've walked into the box of life and we've looked at the alternatives. we said, oh, sin and shame and destruction. Grace and glory and peace. Uh, I, I, I pick the grace and the glory and the peace. And it is in and through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I embrace Him. Amen. Come on now. You know why God picked Mary to pour out that box? Come on now. Because she knew how to be humble before the Lord. She didn't justify her her life and the mistakes she made. She humbly came before and said, I'm the least worthy of all to be here. She was broken and contrite before the Lord. And she poured out not only the oil from the alabaster box, but she poured out the tears from her soul, knowing that I wasn't worthy. I don't deserve this. But you love me so much. Yes. Oh, no matter how. You know, yeah, people might have looked down on her. But even the disciples, well, we could have sold that. We could have done this. They didn't understand that it was a heart controlling, totally contrite before God, thanking God that God counted her worthy to be a part of his family. 